Hey there folks, it's Antar. Today I'm bringing you an Uber's battle against Super Yoshi, the first one we met through this mug on Wi-Fi Battle Finder. Um, and yeah, so anyway, you might notice this battle looks a little bit different than my previous battles. That is because I am back to using Dismoomi rather than No Money GBA. Um, I'm using the Windows version though, so I get all the nice cool features like actual action, action replay support. But anyway, that's uh, way too much information for you guys. Uh, we're both running Sun Teams. He leads off with Groudon. I go for the Ice Beam. Ice Beam actually has a good shot of one-hit KOing a defensive Groudon. Um, and switching out, that's great. It does a lot to Mewtwo. I managed to take out his Mewtwo. Now, I never lead with my Groudon when my opponent is using a Sun team because I figure, you know, what's the point? My team doesn't really depend on the Sun, um, so might as well just let him set up the Sun and, you know, try to counter his Groudon first turn. Anyway, out's going to come his uh, Rayquaza. I take the Extreme Speed rather well. Looks like he's banded considering that there's no... Uh, leftovers and he switched out right here. Go for the Stealth Rocks, great for me um, as he switches into Groudon. Uh, now I'm just staying in to see what kind of set this Groudon is, whether it's a Rock Polish set or whether it's just a support set. Looks like it's a support set, probably running a very, very similar set to the one that I run. Um, I do a decent amount of damage with Earthquake, not a great amount, but I'm just trying to rack up some damage against him. He goes for the Toxic. Great move, but you know, I'm not running a stall team, so I'm not really anticipating that the Toxic is going to be a significant problem for me. Um, and so here he's going to withdraw his Sunzilla. I decide I'm just going to go for the Roar, try to get some self rock damage against his team. He switches out into Shaman S, so that's great because now Shaman S is going to be down to 50% health the next time it comes out. Sunzilla is back out, and I'm just deciding I'm going to, uh, you know, play this for all it's worth, go for another Roar, uh, see who else I can get out. Uh, he goes for the Earthquake, that's going to do a decent chunk of damage, uh, and I'm now down to about half, I'm going to be down to less than half after, um, after poison damage. Anyway, out's going to come his Reshiram on the Roar, that's great because now it's down to, it's lost 25% of its health. Uh, he goes for the Draco Meteor, he's going to get the kill against my Groudon, that's okay, I didn't want to switch someone on predicting the Draco Meteor, um, I could have spent in my Scissor, but um, you know, he's probably locked and he's probably spexed, um, and indeed it looks like he is, so he goes ahead and switches out here into his Arceus Water type, never seen an Arceus Water type before, go for the Swords Dance. Um, so that's going to be great for me. Uh, he goes for the Calm Mind, and I think I actually capped this next move here. I am Adamant Life Orb. I go for the Bug Bite, and it's actually going to manage to one-hit KO this guy. I was really impressed by that. Um, but that's really great for me, and also I was lucky that he went for the Calm Mind. Then again, I really wasn't carrying like a Water-type Judgment. I mean, that, in the Sun, half power. Anyway, go for the Bullet Punch here. Um, I was actually kind of hoping that it would KO. I think I counted it, and it was close. Um, not really 100% sure. Anyway, he goes for the blue flare. He's locked into blue flare. That's going to be great for me. Uh, he's now down to practically no HP. I send out Daenerys. Uh, Daenerys Targaryen, who fears no fire, goes for the spatial range. Yeah, by the way, I am loving Game of Thrones Season 2 so far. It's amazing. Anyway, I take out his Reshiram. I'm locked into Spatial Ren because I am Scarfed, but that's really okay looking at his team. I have nothing to fear, really. I mean, okay, fine. It requires his extreme speed. I'm pretty sure I can take one. Out now is going to come Groudon, uh, which is the only Pokemon that I had to worry about because I didn't think that Spatial Ren would be a one-hit KO. Um, it's going to be a two-hit KO, though, so I'm really not sure what he did there. I think uh, probably sending out Rayquaza was a misclick, but really he should have just foddered out his Rayquaza, maybe going for an extreme speed. His Groudon probably could have taken me out on the next turn. Anyway, that's going to come Shaman. I go for the Spatial Ren, going to take out his uh, Shaman. Uh, if it had been Scarfed and Timid, it would have outsped me, but luckily he wasn't, so that's great. Now this Rayquaza is back out. It's his last Pokemon. I go for the Spatial Ren. He doesn't even try to go for the extreme speed. I am going to manage to take him out. And that's a nice little Palkia sweep for me. So folks, I hope you enjoyed that battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.